The San Antonio Spurs are an American professional basketball team based in San Antonio, Texas, United States. They are part of the Southwest Division of the Western Conference in the National Basketball Association. They are the current champions of the NBA. The Spurs are one of four former American Basketball Association teams to remain intact in the NBA after the 1976 Abara Euro NBA merger and the only former ABA team to have won an NBA championship. The Spurs' five NBA championships are the fourth most in history behind only the Boston Celtics, Los Angeles Lakers, and Chicago Bulls. The Spurs currently rank second among active franchises for the highest winning percentage in NBA history trailing only the Los Angeles Lakers, and are the only team in the NBA with a tied or better head-to-head -head regular season record against every active NBA franchise. In their 38 NBA seasons since 1976 Euro 1977, the Spurs have won 20 division titles. They have made of the playoffs in 24 of the last 25 seasons and have missed the playoffs four times since entering the NBA. They have not missed the playoffs in the 17 seasons since Tim Duncan was drafted by the Spurs in 1997. With their 50th win in the 2013 Euro 2014 season, the Spurs extended their record for most consecutive 50-plus win seasons to 15. Only the team's current head coach, Greg Popovich, who had been the team's general manager before replacing Bob Hill in 1996, has had a longer tenure with the Spurs. The Spurs in San Antonio, the Spurs are the city's only team in any of the four major U.S. professional sports leagues and the only major league team in the city's history to have lasted more than five years. Spurs players are active members of the San Antonio community, and many former Spurs are still active in San Antonio including David Robinson with the Carver Academy and George Gervin with the George Gervin Youth Center. The Spurs set several NBA attendance records while playing at the Alema Dome including the largest crowd ever for an NBA Finals game in 1999, and the Spurs continue to sell out the smaller AT&T Center on a regular basis. Since 2003, the team has been forced on an extended road trip for much of February since the AT&T Center hosts the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. This is informally known as the Rodeo Road Trip. The Spurs have consistently posted winning road records during this period, including an NBA record longest single road trip winning streak. When the Spurs have won the NBA title, the team's victory parades have been boat trips on the San Antonio River Walk. Franchise history, 1967 Euro 1973, Dallas Chaparrales. The San Antonio Spurs started out as the Dallas Chaparrales of the original version of the American Basketball Association. Coached by player coach Cliff Haugen the Dallas Chaparrales were one of 11 teams to take the floor in the inaugural season of the upstart ABA. The Chaps' second season was a bit of a disappointment, as the team finished in fourth place with a mediocre 41 Euro 37 record. In the playoffs the Chaparrales quickly fell to the New Orleans Buccaneers. The team suffered from poor attendance and general disinterest in Dallas. In fact, during the 1970 Euro 71 season, the name Dallas was dropped in favor of Texas, and an attempt was made to make the team a regional one playing games in Fort Worth, Texas, at the Tarrant County Convention Center, as well as Lubbock, Texas, at the Lubbock Municipal Coliseum, but this proved a failure and the team returned full-time to Dallas in time for the 1971 Euro 72 season, splitting their games at Moody Coliseum and Dallas Convention Center Arena. 1973 Euro 1976, coming to San Antonio. While the Chaparrales had been modestly successful on the court, they were sinking financially by their third season, largely because the ownership group refused to spend much money on the team. After missing the playoffs for the first time in their existence in the 1972 Euro 73 season, nearly all of the owners wanted out. A group of 36 San Antonio businessmen, led by Angelo Drossos, John Schaefer and Red McCombs worked out a lend-lease deal with the Dallas ownership group. Drossos and his group would lease the team for three years and move it to San Antonio, and agreed to return the team to Dallas if no purchase occurred by 1975. After the deal was signed, the team was renamed the San Antonio Gunslingers. However, 
before they even played a game the name was changed to Spurs. The team's primary colours were changed from the red, white, and blue of the Chaparrales to the now familiar black, silver and white motif of the Spurs. In the first game at the Hemisphere Arena the Spurs lost to the San Diego Conquistadors, despite attracting a noisy crowd of 6,000 fans. A smothering defense was the team's image, as they held opponents less than 100 points an ABA record 49 times. The early Spurs were led by ABA veteran James Silas, and the team would get stronger as the season went on as they twice took advantage of the Virginia Squires, acquiring Swen Nata, who would go on to win Rookie of the Year, in November, and the Iceman George Gervin in January. The ABA tried to halt the Gervin deal, claiming it was detrimental to the league, but a judge would rule in the Spurs' favor, and Gervin made his Spurs debut on February 7. The Spurs would go on to finish with a 45 Euro 39 record, good for third place in the Western Division. In the playoffs, the Spurs would battle the Indiana Pacers to the bitter end before falling in seven games. San Antonio embraced the Spurs with open arms. The Spurs drew 6,303 fans per game, surpassing the Chaparral's entire total attendance in only 18 games. Drossos and McCombs knew a runaway hit when they saw it. After only one year, they exercised their option to tear up the lease agreement, buy the franchise outright and keep the team in San Antonio for good. The team quickly made themselves at home at Hemisphere Arena, playing to increasingly large and raucous crowds. Despite a respectable 17 a Euro 10 start during the 1974 a Euro 75 season, coach Tom Nysorg was fired as owners become tired of the Spurs' slow defensive style of games. He would be replaced by Bob Bass, who stated that the Spurs would have an entirely new playing style. It is my belief that you cannot throw a set offense at another professional team for 48 minutes. You've got to let them play some schoolyard basketball. George Gervin and James Silas took that style to heart, as the Spurs became an exciting fast-breaking team on the way to a solid 51 Euro 33 record, good enough for second place in the West. Gervin said, Our whole theory was that you shoot 100 times, we'll shoot 107. However, in the playoffs the Spurs would fall to the Indiana Pacers in six games. Even though playoff success would elude the team. The Spurs had suddenly found themselves among the top teams in the ABA. Moreover, their gaudy attendance figures made them very attractive to the NBA, despite the size of the market. Although San Antonio had over 650,000 people at the time, it has always been a medium-sized market because the surrounding suburban and rural areas aren't much larger than the city itself. In June 1976, the ABA-NBA merger took place moving San Antonio's sole professional sports franchise into a new league. The Spurs, Denver Nuggets, Indiana Pacers and New York Nets moved to the NBA for the 1976 Euro 77 season. The Spurs and the other three ABA teams agreed to pay the owners of two other strong ABA teams that folded instead of joining the NBA. John Y. Brown, Jr., the owner of the Kentucky Colonels, received $3 million, which he used to purchase the NBA's Buffalo Braves and later the Boston Celtics, after selling star guard Louis Dampier to the Spurs. The owners of the Spirits of St. Louis received a portion of all television profits during their NBA tenure, which amounts to roughly one-seventh of the Spurs' television profit every year. This agreement has placed particular financial pressure on the Spurs and the other three former ABA teams. 1976 a Euro 1985 the George Gervin era, although there was some initial skepticism in league circles regarding the potential success and talent levels of the incoming ABA teams, the Spurs would prove worthy of NBA inclusion during the 1976 Euro 77 season with a record of 44 Euro 38, good for a tie for fourth place overall in the Eastern Conference. This was done in spite of significant handicaps the NBA imposed on the incoming ABA teams limiting their draft picks and television revenues during their early time in the merged league. They gained a new rival in the form of the Houston Rockets, who had played in Texas for five years prior to the merger. During the 1977 a Euro 78 season, 
George Gervin and David Thompson of the Denver Nuggets battled all season for the NBA scoring title. On the final day of the season, Thompson took the lead by scoring 73 points in an afternoon game against the Detroit Pistons. That night Gervin knew that he needed 58 points against the Jazz in New Orleans. Gervin got off to a good start by scoring 20 points in the first quarter. In the second, the Iceman was even better, setting a single-period record with 33 points. Early on in the third period Gervin scored his 58 points on the way to 63 capturing the scoring title. While Gervin was lighting up the scoreboard the Spurs were winning the Central Division with a 52-Euro 30 record. However, in the playoffs the Spurs would be stunned in six games by the Washington Bullets despite an outstanding series from Gervin who averaged 33.2 ppg. The following season in the 1979 Conference Finals the Spurs led the series 3 a Euro 1 but the Bullets came back to win the last three games and came from behind to win the seventh game 107 a Euro 105 handing the Spurs a heartbreaking loss. The Spurs would have to wait another 20 years to make it to their first NBA Finals. The Spurs would go on to capture five division titles in their first seven years in the NBA and became a perennial playoff participant. However, in the playoffs, the Spurs would never find a break, losing to teams like the Washington Bullets, the Boston Celtics, the Houston Rockets, and the Los Angeles Lakers. As the 1980s progressed, the Spurs would see their shares of highs and lows. For the first few seasons of the decade, the Spurs continued their success of the 1970s with records of 52 a Euro 30 and 1980 a Euro 81. 48 a Euro 34 in 1981 a Euro 82, and 53 a Euro 29 in 1982 a Euro 83. Despite their regular season success, the Spurs were unable to win any NBA championships, losing in the Western Conference playoffs to the Houston Rockets in the first round of the 1981 and the Los Angeles Lakers in four games 1982 and in six games in the 1983 Western Finals despite getting both wins at the Forum in the 1983 series. They lost every home game in both series in 1982 and 1983 versus the Lakers as Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and co. were too strong. The Spurs did not make the conference finals until 1995. After the 1984 Euro 85 season, Gervin, who had been the Spurs' biggest star, was traded to the Chicago Bulls in what effectively signaled the end of the era that began when the Spurs first moved to San Antonio, 1985 Euro 1989, difficult years. Your next four seasons were a dark time in Spurs history with the team having a combined record of 115 a Euro 213 from 1985 a Euro 86 until 1988 a Euro 89. The losing seasons and dwindling attendance often caused the Spurs to be mentioned as a potential candidate for relocation to another city. The lone bright spot during this period was the Spurs being awarded the top pick in the 1987 NBA draft through NBA Draft Lottery. The Spurs used this selection on United States Naval Academy standout David Robinson. Although drafted in 1987, the Spurs would have to wait until the 1989 Euro 90 season to see Robinson actually play, due to a two-year commitment he had to serve with the United States Navy. The Spurs seemingly bottomed out in 1988 Euro 89 with a record of 21 Euro 61, the worst in franchise history at the time. However, the 1989 Euro 90 season was notable for several reasons. It was the first season of full ownership for Red McCombs, who was an original investor in the team and helped solidify local ownership for the team. Additionally, the 1988 Euro 89 season featured the debut of Larry Brown as the Spurs head coach who moved to San Antonio after winning the NCAA National Championship with the University of Kansas in 1988. 1989 Euro 1997, Arrival of the Admiral Although there was speculation that Robinson might choose not to sign with the Spurs and to become a free agent once his Navy commitment ended, Robinson decided in the end to come to San Antonio for the 1989 Euro 90 season. While it was thought his arrival would make the Spurs respectable again, no one expected what happened in his rookie season. Led by Robinson, 
1989 draftee Sean Elliott from the University of Arizona, and trade acquisition Terry Cummings from the Milwaukee Bucks, the Spurs achieved the biggest one-season turnaround in NBA history, finishing with a record of 56 a Euro 26. They also jumped all the way to first place in the Midwest Division, their first division title in seven years. Robinson had one of the most successful rookie seasons for a center in NBA history, finishing the season as the unanimous Rookie of the Year while averaging 24.3 points and 12.0 rebounds. The Spurs began the 1990s with great optimism. The team became a perennial playoff presence, although unable to advance further than the second round of the NBA playoffs under Brown's tutelage. Late in the 1991-92 season, McCombs fired Brown and replaced him with Bob Bass for the remainder of the season. Without a healthy David Robinson, the Spurs were swept out of the first round of the playoffs by the Phoenix Suns. McCombs made national headlines during the summer of 1992 with the hiring of former UNLV head coach Jerry Tarkanian. The Tarkanian experiment proved a flop as the coach was fired 20 games into the 1992-93 season with the Spurs record at 9-11. After Rex Hughes filled the coaching shoes for one game, NBA veteran John Lucas was named head coach. It was Lucas' first NBA coaching assignment, although he had gained recognition in league circles for his success in helping NBA players rehab from drug abuse. The Lucas era started out successfully. His coaching propelled the team to a 39 Euro 22 finish over the rest of the regular season, and the team reached a Western Conference semi finals. In 1993, local businessman Peter M. Holt and a group of 22 investors purchased the Spurs from Red McCombs for $75 million. In the 1993 94 season, the Spurs first in the newly built Alema Dome. Lucas led the team to a 55 Euro 27 record but the team suffered a loss in the first round of the playoffs, which led to the immediate firing of Lucas as head coach. Prior to the season the Spurs traded fan favorite Elliott to the Detroit Pistons in return for rebounding star Dennis Rodman. Lucas was replaced by former Pacers coach Bob Hill for the 1994 Euro 95 season. Elliott returned to the team after an uneventful season with the Pistons, and the team finished with the NBA's best record at 62 a Euro 20, cracking the 60-win mark for the first time in franchise history. Robinson was named the league's most valuable player. The Spurs reached a Western Conference Finals, but lost to the eventual NBA champion Houston Rockets. Throughout the season, and particularly in the playoffs, there appeared to be friction developing between Rodman and several Spurs teammates, most notably Robinson. Rodman was traded to the Chicago Bulls after the season, and helped the Bulls win three titles from 1996 to 1998. The Spurs finished the 1995-96 season under Hill at 59 Euro 23 and lost in the Western Conference semi-finals. Few observers could have predicted how far the Spurs would fall during the 1996 Euro 97 season, especially with the signing of Dominique Wilkins. Robinson missed the first month of the season due to a back injury. He returned in December, but played only six games before a broken foot sidelined him for the rest of the season. Elliott also missed more than half the season due to injury. Without Robinson and Elliott, the Spurs were a rudderless team. The lone bright spot was Wilkins, leading the team in scoring with an average of 18.2 ppg. The Spurs ended the season with a 20 Euro 62 record, the worst in franchise history a Euro, and to date, the last time they have missed the playoffs. Hill only lasted 18 games as coach that season, eventually being fired and replaced by general manager Greg Popovich, who had also served a stint under Brown as an assistant coach. Wilkins would play his lone season in 1996 a Euro 97 for San Antonio, knowing his minutes and playing time would greatly diminish next season. As disastrous as the 1996 Euro 97 season was for the Spurs, the offseason proved to be the opposite. With the third worst record in the league, the Spurs won the NBA's draft lottery, which gave them the top pick in the 1997 draft. The Spurs used their pick to select Wake Forest University product and consensus All-American Tim Duncan. 
1997 Euro present, Tim Duncan Greg Popovich era, 1997 Euro 2003, The Twin Towers, Greg Popovich watched Tim Duncan play in summer league and immediately noted that, if I try to coach this guy, the only thing I can do is screw him up, effectively saying that Duncan was very gifted, very intelligent, and had a keen knowledge of the game. Duncan quickly emerged as a dominant force in the NBA during the 1997 Euro 98 season, averaging 21.1 points and 11.9 rebounds per game as a power forward. He was named first team All NBA while winning Rookie of the Year honors. The team ended up at 56 a Euro 26, breaking their own record from 1989 a Euro 90 for the biggest single season improvement for wins but once again lost to the Jazz in the Western Conference semi-finals. While both Duncan and Robinson played low-post roles, the two seamlessly meshed on the court. With a healthy Robinson and Duncan and the additions of playoff veterans such as Mario Eli and Jerome Kersey, the Spurs looked forward to the 1998-99 Euro season. Prior to the beginning of training camps, however, the NBA owners, led by Commissioner David Stern, locked out the players in order to force a new collective bargaining agreement with the National Basketball Players Association. The season was delayed for over three months until resolution on a new labor agreement was reached in January 1999. Playing a shortened 50-game season, the Spurs earned an NBA Best 37 Euro 13 record. The team was just as dominant in the playoffs, rolling through the Western Conference with a record of 11 Euro 1. In the NBA Finals, they faced the New York Knicks, who had made history by becoming the first eight seed to ever make the NBA Finals. The Spurs won the series and the franchise's first NBA championship in Game 5 at the Knicks' home arena, Madison Square Garden. Duncan was named the NBA Finals MVP. The Spurs became the first former ABA team to reach and to win the NBA Finals. Coming off their first NBA championship, the Spurs were still among the best teams in the West and battling for first place in the Midwest Division during the 1999 Euro 2000 season. On March 14, the Spurs' playoff spirits got a lift when Sean Elliott, who received a kidney transplant from his brother prior to the season, returned and played in the last 19 games. As the season wound down, Duncan suffered a knee injury and the Spurs finished in second place with a 53 Euro 29 record. Without Duncan, the Spurs were knocked out of the playoffs by the Phoenix Suns in four games. The long-term viability of the Spurs franchise in San Antonio was, however, achieved during the 1999 Euro 2000 season, as Bigsaw County voters approved increases in car rental and hotel taxes which would allow for the construction of a new arena next to the Freeman Coliseum. The Spurs finished with 58 Euro 24 records for both the 2000 Euro 01 and 2001 Euro 02 seasons but found themselves suffering playoff ousters in both seasons from the eventual NBA champion Los Angeles Lakers, getting swept from the 2001 Conference Finals and losing in five games during the second round in 2002. Entering the 2002 Euro 03 season, the team knew it would be memorable for at least two reasons as David Robinson announced that it would be his last in the NBA and the Spurs would begin play at their new arena, the SBC Center, named after telecommunications giant SBC, whose corporate headquarters were located in San Antonio. To mark this occasion, the Spurs revamped their Fiesta Colors logo and reverted to the familiar silver and black motif. This version of the Spurs was very different from the team that had won the title a few years earlier. Second-year French star Tony Parker, drafted by the Spurs in the first round of the 2001 NBA draft, was now the starting point guard for the Spurs. The squad featured a variety of newly acquired three-point shooters, including Stephen Jackson, Danny Ferry, Bruce Bowen, Steve Kerr, Steve Smith and Argentine product Manu Gina Cubed Billy, a 1999 second-round draft choice playing in his first NBA season. The Spurs christened the SBC Center and style on November 1, 2002 by defeating the Toronto Raptors 91 Euro 72. The Spurs would not get off to a flying start as they had just a 19 Euro 13 record heading into January. In January the Spurs began to gel and seemed prepped to make a run, 
when they embarked on their annual rodeo road trip, a nine-game road trip from January 25 to February 16. However, it would be hardly a bump in the road for the charging Spurs, who won eight of the nine and began to climb their way to first place. The Spurs went on to erase their seven-game deficit and finished the season in a tie with the Dallas Mavericks for the best record in the NBA. Thanks to a tiebreaker, the Spurs won their third straight division title as Tim Duncan claimed his second straight NBA MVP. In the playoffs, the Spurs defeated the Suns, Lakers and Mavericks en route to facing the New Jersey Nets in the NBA Finals. The series against the Nets marked the first time two former ABA teams played each other for the NBA championship. The Spurs won the series for a Euro 2, giving them their second NBA championship in franchise history. Duncan, after having been named NBA MVP, was also named Finals MVP. 2003 Euro 2004, bridging the gap, coming off their second NBA championship. The retirement of David Robinson left a void in San Antonio's daunting defense, while playoff hero Steve Kerr and veteran forward Danny Ferry also retired. Meanwhile, backup point guard Speedy Claxton was hired away by the Warriors, and Stephen Jackson left for Atlanta. With several holes to fill in their rotation, the Spurs would make several key signings in the offseason. Rasho Nestorovic and Hido Tarwan Kortorako I were brought in to replace Robinson and Jackson, respectively. What proved to be the most important off-season acquisition would be the signing of veteran Robert Horry. The Spurs, playing with nine new players, struggled early as they missed the presence of Robinson while the new players struggled to fit in, as they held a 9 Euro 10 record on December 3. However, the Spurs would turn it around as they ended December on a 13-game winning streak and quickly climbed back to the top of the NBA standings. They would battle all year for the top spot in the Western Conference, as they ended the season on another strong note winning their final 11 games. However, they would fall one game short of a division title in the best record in the West, posting a record of 57 a Euro 25. In the second round of the playoffs, the Spurs found themselves in another showdown with the Los Angeles Lakers. The Spurs would win games 1 and 2 at home, but drop the next two in the Los Angeles. In Game 5 back in San Antonio, Duncan seemingly delivered the Spurs a 73 Euro 72 win as he hit a dramatic shot with just 0.4 seconds remaining. However, the Lakers' Derek Fisher would launch a game winner as time expired giving the Lakers a stunning 74 a 73 win to take a 3 a Euro 2 series lead. The Spurs would eventually lose the series in six games. 2004 a Euro present, the Big Three. After their disappointing second round collapse, the Spurs looked to regain the NBA crown. With the acquisition of guard Brent Barry from Seattle, the Spurs would get off to a quick start, posting a 12 a Euro 3 record in November. The Spurs would stay hot through December as they established a 25 Euro 6 record entering the new year. With the later additions of center NAZ Muhammad from New York, and veteran forward Glenn Robinson from free agency, alongside regulars Bruce Bowen, Robert Horry, Tony Parker, Manu Gina Cubed Billy, and Tim Duncan, the Spurs would be near the top in the Western Conference all season, battling the Phoenix Suns for the best record in the NBA. Just as it appeared the Spurs would cruise toward the playoffs their season suddenly hit a bump in the road when Tim Duncan suffered an ankle injury. The Spurs struggled the rest of the season, finishing just 59-23. However, by the time the playoffs rolled around, Duncan was ready to return. In the postseason, the Spurs went through the West relatively easily, culminating with a five-game victory in the conference finals over the Phoenix Suns. In the NBA Finals, the Spurs would face the defending champion Detroit Pistons. The first two games in San Antonio were both Spurs victories as Gina Cubed Billy led the way with 26 and 27 points, in blowout wins by the Spurs. However, as the series shifted to Detroit, the Spurs were the ones who were blown out, losing games 3 and 4 by big margins as the Pistons evened the series. Faced with a third straight loss in Detroit, the Spurs would play tougher in Game 5 which would become go into overtime. 
After going scoreless in the first half, Robert Horry hit a clutch three-point shot with nine seconds remaining to give the Spurs a dramatic 96 a Euro 95 win. The series moved back to San Antonio for Game 6, but the Spurs were unable to close out the series, setting up a deciding Game 7. In Game 7, Duncan had 25 points as the Spurs pulled away late to win their third NBA title in seven years with an 81 a Euro 74 win. Duncan was named Finals MVP, becoming only the fourth player to win the MVP award three times. Coming off their third NBA championship in seven years, there was a sense that the Spurs were the class of the NBA, as once again would be the team to beat in the NBA for the championship. For the 2005 Euro 06 season, the Spurs acquired the two-time All-Star Michael Finley and one-time All-Star Nick Van Exel. Not surprisingly, the Spurs would come flying out of the gate, winning 16 of their first 19 games. Once again, the Spurs would get challenged within their own division by the Dallas Mavericks as they held the two best records in the Western Conference all season, battling for first place. In the end, the experience of the Spurs would be the difference as they won the Southwest Division again with a new franchise best record of 63 Euro 19. The Spurs met the Mavericks in the second round of the playoffs, but it would be Dallas coming out on top 4-3, including a 119-111 overtime victory in Game 7. The Spurs struggled during the first half of the 2006 July season, which led to discussions of trading away veteran players to build for the future. The team remained intact, and the Spurs would win 13 games in a row during February and March, and were an NBA best 25 a Euro 6 in the final 31 games, as the Spurs were able to claim the three seed in the West. The Spurs cruised through the first round, while the number one seeded Dallas Mavericks were upset. This set up a second round series with the Phoenix Suns as the key series in the entire NBA playoffs, as the series featured the teams with the two best records remaining in the NBA. The Spurs went on to win for a Euro 2 in the contentious and controversial series versus the Suns. The series featured a Robert Horry foul on Steve Nash toward the end of Game 4 which resulted in Horry being suspended for two games. Those who said the second round series against the Suns was the true NBA Finals would be proven right, as the Spurs easily dispatched a Utah Jazz in five games to reach the NBA Finals. In the Finals, the Spurs swept the Cleveland Cavaliers and captured their fourth title in nine years. Tony Parker, who dominated in the Finals averaging 24.5 ppg on 57% shooting, was named Finals MVP and became the first European-born player to win the, the award. The 2007 a Euro 2008 season saw the Spurs go 56 a Euro 26 and finish third in the Western Conference. The Spurs faced hurdles but would make it to the Western Conference Finals, but lose to the Lakers in five games. The next season would see the Spurs lose to the Dallas Mavericks in the first round of the playoffs. Two days before the 2009 NBA draft, general manager R.C. Buford acted to address the team's age and health concerns by acquiring 29-year-old swingman Richard Jefferson from the Milwaukee Bucks. The Spurs sent 38-year-old Bruce Bowen, 36-year-old Kurt Thomas, and 34-year-old Fabricio Alberto to the Bucks, who swapped Alberto to the Detroit Pistons for Amir Johnson. The Spurs held three second-round picks in the 2009 draft. Their selection of Pittsburgh Panthers forward DeJuan Blair with the number 37 pick was described as a steal by analysts. The Spurs later drafted two guards they had been targeting with the number 37 pick, taking Miami Hurricanes shooting guard Jack McClinton and point shooting guard Nando DiColo from France with the number 51 and number 53 picks, respectively. On July 10, 2009, the Spurs signed Detroit Pistons power forward Antonio Magdares to a three-year deal worth approximately $15 million in guaranteed money. The Spurs struggled with injuries during the 2009 Euro 10 regular season, but managed another 50-win season, finishing at 50 a Euro 32. The seventh-seeded Spurs would once again battle the Mavericks in the first round of the playoffs. After falling to the Mavericks in Game 1, the Spurs went on to avenge their 2009 defeat to Dallas by winning the series in six games. The Spurs however, 
was swept out of the playoffs in the following round by the Phoenix Suns. During the 2010 NBA draft, the Spurs management held the highest draft picks since the Tim Duncan draft a decade earlier. They drafted rookie James Anderson from Oklahoma State at number 20. However, Anderson was soon sitting out of the first half of the season due to injuries. In 2010 Euro 11, the Spurs finished 61 Euro 21 to be the number one seed, but an injury to Gina Cubed Billy in the final regular season game took a toll on the team, and they were upset by the number eight seeded Memphis Grizzlies. 2011 brought a change to the Spurs' philosophy that set the stage for the next successful run in the club's history. Out went the stream of last legs, with some veterans that the Spurs had relied on to fill out the rotation behind the big three. Minutes that had gone to the younger and more athletic talent like Danny Green, Gary Neal, and Tyago Splitter, to whom Pupovic would teach the Spurs where your Euro a fast pace, unselfish passing, and accountability on defense. The biggest personal move of the Spurs offseason had the club sending the beloved guard George Hill to his hometown Indiana Pacers for San Diego State's Corhey Leonard, a hyperathletic forward selected number 15 overall by the Pacers in the 2011 NBA draft. The team also selected Texas Longhorns' Corey Joseph as the number 29 overall pick. After the lockout that delayed the 2011 to 2012 season, the Spurs signed T.J. Ford who would eventually retire in the middle of the season after playing only 14 games due to a stinger. Before the trade deadline, the Spurs decided to part ways with Richard Jefferson and sent him to the Golden State Warriors for Stephen Jackson, who had been a member of the 2003 championship team. Leonard then became the starting small forward. In the week following the trade deadline, the Spurs also signed forward Boris Dian after his contract was bought out by the Charlotte Bobcats, and former Portland Trail Blazers guard Patrick Mills who played for the Xinjiang Flying Tigers in the CBA during the lockout. This gave the Spurs a deeper bench for their playoff run. Despite the shortened 66-game NBA season due to the NBA lockout, the Spurs won 50 games and tied the Chicago Bulls for the best record in the league. They extended their streak of 50-plus win seasons to 13 since the 1999 Euro 00 season an NBA record. Pupovic won his second coach of the year. The Spurs swept the first two rounds of the playoffs. With those two sweeps, a 10-game win streak to end the season, and wins in games one and two of the Western Conference Finals, the Spurs would win 20 straight games. However, the Oklahoma City Thunder would end up winning the next four games in the West Finals, to take the series 4-2. During the 2012 offseason, the Spurs re-signed swingman Danny Green, who was a welcome surprise for them from the previous season and Tim Duncan, both for three years. The Spurs would have a strong 2012-13 season, going 58-24 on earning the number two seed in the West. The Spurs clinched the playoffs for a 16th consecutive season, as well as extended the NBA record with 50-plus games for 14 consecutive seasons. On April 16, the Spurs signed two-time scoring champion, and seven-time All-Star Tracy McGrady to help in the playoffs after waving Stephen Jackson. The Spurs finished the regular season second in the Western Conference behind the Oklahoma City Thunder with a record of 58-24, and swept the Los Angeles Lakers in the first round, 4-0. In the second round of the 2013 playoffs, the Spurs faced Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors. They beat the Warriors four games to two in. In the conference finals, the Spurs swept the Memphis Grizzlies in, with Tony Parker having an 18-assist performance in Game 2 and a 37-point performance in Game 4. The Spurs would meet the defending champion Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. The Spurs and Heat would alternate wins the first six games in the series. In Game 6, the Spurs were on the verge of winning their fifth NBA title. San Antonio was up five points with 28 seconds to go in regulation. An unlikely and uncharacteristic series of mishaps would doom the Spurs down the stretch, including the benching of Duncan by Pupovic at the end of regulation with the Spurs on defense. The Heat missed their field goal attempt, but the undersized Spurs could not grab the defensive rebound. 
The Heat rebounded the ball and Ray Allen then hit a three-pointer to tie the game with five seconds left in regulation to send it to overtime, during which the Spurs were defeated 103-100. Euro In Game 7, San Antonio jumped out to a lead early and kept the game close the entire way. Toward the end of the game, however, and despite a 24-point, 12-rebound effort, Duncan failed to convert on two attempts to tie the game a missed layup and missed tip in that allowed LeBron James to hit a jumper and increased the Heat's lead to 92 a Euro 88. After a steal from Gina Cubed Billy, James hit two free throws after being fouled by Duncan, and when Gina Cubed Billy missed a subsequent three-pointer, Dwyane Wade hit one out of two from the free throw line to put the game on ice, as the Heat would win their second straight championship. The Spurs returned with their core roster largely intact, while adding free agents Marco Bellinelli and Jeff Ayers. The Spurs clinched the best record in the NBA with 62 wins, which included a franchise record 19 straight wins in February and March. In the first round of the playoffs, the eighth-seeded Dallas Mavericks surprised the Spurs by taking the series to seven games, but the Spurs prevailed in convincing fashion in the deciding Game 7. In the second round, Tim Duncan surpassed Karl Malone for fifth place in NBA playoffs all-time points scored while the Spurs cruised past the Portland Trail Blazers in five games. San Antonio played the Oklahoma City Thunder in the Western Conference Finals, which marked the third straight appearance in the Western Conference Finals for the Spurs, and defeated them in six games to advance to the finals for a second straight year for a rematch with the Miami Heat. It was also the first time that they had advanced to the finals in consecutive years. This made it the first time since 1998 NBA Finals that two teams faced off in the finals in consecutive years. With a victory in the second game of the series, Duncan, Ginobili, and Parker won more playoff games together than any other three players on the same team in NBA history. The Spurs would go on to win the 2014 NBA Championship, four games to one. The Spurs blew out Miami in all of their wins, each of them by 15 or more points. Corey Leonard was awarded NBA Finals MVP award for his big game performance and is the third youngest to win it, behind Magic Johnson, who won it twice at a younger age. Rivalries, Los Angeles Lakers The rivalry between the San Antonio Spurs and the Los Angeles Lakers started in the late 70s and peaked in the late 90s and early 2000s. Since 1999, the teams have met in the NBA playoffs seven times, with the clubs combining to appear in seven straight NBA finals from 1999 Euro 2005. Additionally, the teams won each NBA title from 1999 Euro 2003. From 1999 Euro 2004, the rivalry was considered as the NBA's best, as each time the clubs faced each other in the playoffs. The winner advanced to the NBA Finals. The rivalry fell off from 2005 a Euro 07, with the Lakers missing the playoffs in 2005 and losing in the first round to the Phoenix Suns in 2006 and 2007, but intensified again in 2008 when they met in the Western Conference Finals. Both teams met once again for the 12th time in 2013 in the first round, with the Spurs winning in four games. Dallas Mavericks the rivalry between the San Antonio Spurs and the Dallas Mavericks features two teams with Dallas roots. The Spurs began their life in the ABA as the Dallas Chaparrales and did not move to San Antonio until 1973. On October 11, 1980, the Mavs made their NBA debut by defeating the Spurs 103 Euro 92. In the playoffs the Spurs defeated the Mavericks in 2001, 2003, 2010, and 2014. While the Mavericks defeated the Spurs in 2006 and 2009, the Spurs have won five championships and six conference titles, while the Mavericks have won one championship and two conference titles. The Spurs have won 18 division titles, while the Mavericks have won three. The Mavericks have three 60 win seasons, while the Spurs have five. The two teams met in the playoffs during the 2000 Euro 2001 season with the Spurs winning in five games. Little was made during the series, as the Spurs won their first NBA championship only two years before. The Mavericks, run by a trio of Steve Nash, 
Michael Finley, and Dirk Nowitzki, had just defeated the Utah Jazz, despite not having home court advantage, and were only starting to meld into a title contender. The rivalry took on a new meaning in 2005 when, near the end of the regular season, Don Nelson resigned as Dallas head coach, apparently dissatisfied with the state of the team, and handed the coaching reins to former Spur Avery Johnson, the point guard of the 1999 NBA champion Spurs team who hit the game-winning shot against the New York Knicks. Since Johnson was coached under Spurs head coach Greg Popovich, he would be familiar with most, if not all, of Popovich's coaching style and philosophy. During the 2005 offseason, Michael Finley, waived by the Mavericks under the Amnesty Clause, joined the Spurs in search for an elusive title victory, that he finally was part of with the Spurs in 2007. Ironically, part of his salary was being paid for by the Mavericks during that season to allow for cap room. The Mavericks were swept in the 2012 a Euro 13 season by the Spurs for the first time since the 1998 season, Tim Duncan's rookie season. In their last matchup of the season, San Antonio escaped with a 95 a Euro 94 victory over Dallas when a Vince Carter three point attempt bounced off the rim at the buzzer. With that win, the Spurs clinched a playoff spot for a 16th straight season, currently the longest streak in the NBA. San Antonio also reached 50 wins for a 14th consecutive season, the longest streak in NBA history. In the 2013 a Euro 14 season, the Spurs once again swept the Maves in the regular season, giving them nine straight victories. In addition, an overtime loss to the Memphis Grizzlies on April 16, 2014 ensured that the Mavericks would face the Spurs once again in the 2014 NBA playoffs, where the Maves would be the eighth seed and San Antonio the first. In Game 1 in San Antonio, the game was relatively close. Dallas managed to reach an 81-71 lead in the fourth quarter. But the Spurs rallied back and took Game 1 at home, 90-85. However, the Mavs managed to force 22 turnovers in Game 2 to rout the Spurs 113-92, splitting the first two games before the series went to Dallas. In Game 3, Manu Ginobili managed to hit a shot that put the Spurs up 108-106 with 1.7 left, but a buzzer-beating three-pointer by Vince Carter gave the Mavs the victory putting them up to a Euro 1 in the series. The Spurs took Game 4 in Dallas 93 a Euro 89 and later Game 5 at home 109 a Euro 103, giving them a 3 a Euro 2 lead. The Maves avoided elimination in Game 6 at home by rallying in the fourth quarter, winning 111 a Euro 113. The Spurs would then advance to the second round with a Game 7 blowout, winning 119 a Euro 96. Houston Rockets. Also known as the I-10 rivalry since San Antonio and Houston both lie on the path of the Interstate 10 freeway. The rivalry between the San Antonio Spurs and the Houston Rockets began in 1976 when the Spurs were absorbed into the NBA from the American Basketball Association, along with the Denver Nuggets, the New York Nets, and the Indiana Pacers. The Rockets and Spurs competed for the division title, with the Rockets winning it first in 1977 and the Spurs in 1978 and 1979. In 1980, they met in the playoffs for the first time as the Rockets led by Moses Malone and Calvin Murphy beat the Spurs led by George Gervin and James Silas to a Euro 1. The rivalry grew intense as both teams moved from the East to the West. They met again in 1981, this time in the second round. The Spurs had home court advantage, and were heavily favored, winning the Midwest Division title and the Rockets only 40 a Euro 42. The Rockets and Spurs fought to the bitter end before the Rockets held on to win Game 7 capped by Murphy's 42 points. The Rockets would advance to the finals in a losing cause to the Boston Celtics. The rivalry continued in 1995 when the defending champion Rockets led by Hakeem Olajuwon beat the top-seeded Spurs led by MVP David Robinson in the Western Conference Finals, despite only being the sixth seed, with Olajuwon, who had won the previous year's MVP, being widely regarded as having outplayed Robinson. In a regular season game early in the 2005 season, the Spurs were leading the Rockets very late in the fourth quarter by eight points. 
Houston's Tracy McGrady went on a personal 13 a Euro 4 run in the final 35 seconds to miraculously steal the game away from San Antonio, including the game-winning three-pointer with one second remaining to the delight of the Toyota Center crowd. In 2014, the Rockets who were now led by James Harden and Dwight Howard, swept the season series for the first time since Tim Duncan entered the league in 1997, winning all four games, including one in San Antonio of which the Rockets led wire to wire. Phoenix Suns The rivalry between the Spurs and the Phoenix Suns began in the 1990s when the Spurs were led by the Admiral, David Robinson, and the Suns were propelled by a number of players including Dan Majel, Kevin Johnson, and Tom Chambers. The rivalry continued into the next decade with Tim Duncan leading the Spurs and with the Suns headed by Steve Nash. In 2003, the Spurs beat the Suns for a Euro 2 in the first round. In 2005, the Spurs beat the Suns for a Euro 1 in the conference finals. In 2007, the Spurs beat the Suns for a Euro 2 in a conference semi-finals series that was notable for putting the two best teams remaining in the NBA against each other. There was a controversial ruling in Game 4 when Diane Stridmeyer left the bench during an altercation and was suspended for Game 5. In 2008, the Spurs beat the Suns for a Euro 1 in the first round. Tim Duncan hit a three-pointer to force overtime and win the series. In 2010, the Suns swept the Spurs in four games in the playoffs. Logo and uniforms Since becoming the San Antonio Spurs in 1973, the team colors have been black, silver and white. The distinctive logo of the word Spurs in Euro-style font, with the stylized spur substituting for the letter U, has been a part of the team's identity since their move to San Antonio. The logo incorporated Fiesta colors of pink, orange and teal, used from 1989 to 2002, and alignment from straight to arched beginning with the 2002 Euro 03 NBA season. The Spurs have always worn black on the road and white at home, except during the 1973 Euro 76 ABA seasons and their first NBA season when the home uniform was always silver. Until the 1988 Euro 89 NBA season, the road uniform had San Antonio on the front while the home uniform featured the team nickname adopted from the Spurs logo. From 1973 to 1982, the road uniform lettering was black with silver trim. In addition, from 1977 to Euro 81 a saddle-like striping was featured on the back of the home shorts. Since the 1989 Euro 90 NBA season the Spurs uniform has remained practically the same, with the road uniform now using the team nickname from their logo. A minor change included the addition of another black and white trim to the already silver-trimmed block numbers in the 2002 Euro 03 season. The Spurs wear black sneakers and socks on the road, and white sneakers and socks at home, a practice that began in the 2002 Euro 03 season. When the NBA moved to the Adidas Revolution 30 technology for the 2010 Euro 11 season, the Spurs changed to V-neck jerseys and eliminated striping on the shorts belt line. On September 19, 2012, the Spurs unveiled a silver alternate uniform. In breaking from the traditional practice of placing the team or city name in front, the Spurs' new uniform features only the stylized Spur logo, with the black number trimmed in white and silver on the upper right. The Spurs' primary logo is atop the player name and number on the back, while the Eurostyle SA initials are on the left leg of the shorts. Black, silver and white side stripes are also featured on the uniform. The uniforms are worn for select home games. A variation of this uniform featuring military camouflage patterns instead of the usual silver, was used for two games in the 2013 Euro 14 season. At times throughout the season, the Spurs wear a jersey that says Los Spurs on the front, in recognition of Latino fans both at home and across the U.S. and Latin America. The Spurs were one of the first NBA teams to wear these branded jerseys. In 2014, the jerseys became sleeved. These events are called Nush's Latinas, first launched during the 2006 Euro 07 NBA season, part of an Hispanic marketing campaign known as a copyright knee bar copyright A. Six teams in the NBA participate in these events. 
the Spurs have had the most players from Latin America and are one of only three NBA teams who have had at least five players on their rosters who originate from Latin America and Spain, the others being the Memphis Grizzlies and the Portland Trail Blazers. Season by Season Records, see also, List of San Antonio Spurs Seasons, Arena History, Dallas Chaparrales, State Fair Coliseum, Moody Coliseum, Tarrant County Coliseum, Lubbock Municipal Coliseum, San Antonio Spurs, Hemisphere Arena, Alema Dome, AT&T Center, Players, for the complete list of San Antonio Spurs players see, San Antonio Spurs all-time roster. For the players drafted by the San Antonio Spurs, see, San Antonio Spurs draft history. Current roster, retired numbers, one also Hall of Famers. International rights, the Spurs own the NBA rights to the players listed in the table below. The typical pattern is to allow the player to develop in leagues outside the USA. The player is free to negotiate contracts in other leagues and is not obligated to play in the NBA. Sometimes, a player's overseas contract may have an expensive buyout clause that would discourage the Spurs from seeking to bring him in. The Spurs have had past success in finding foreign talent. Some examples of this success include the selections of second-rounder Manu Gina Cubed Bilai and first-rounder Tony Parker, who have both become all-stars. Basketball Hall of Famers, Larry Brown a Euro 2002, George the Iceman Govina Euro 1996, Artist Jill Mori a Euro 2011 Cliff Hagana Euro 1978, Moses Maloney a Euro 2001, David Rubin Sauna Euro 2009, Dennis Rodman a Euro 2011, Jerry Tarkin Ayana a Euro 2013, Dominique Wilkins a Euro 2006, Franchise Leaders, Bold denotes still active with team. Name includes points scored for the team while in the ABA. Italics denotes still active but not with team. Points scored. Other statistics. Individual awards. All-star selections. John Beasley a Euro 1968, 1969, 1970 Cliff Hagen a Euro 1968 Glenn Coombs a Euro 1970, Cincinnati's Powell a Euro 1970, Donnie Freeman a Euro 1971, 1972, Steve Jones a Euro 1972, Rich Jones a Euro 1973, 1974, Swen Nata a Euro 1974, 1975. George Gervin a Euro 1975, 1976, 1977, 1978, 1979, 1980, 1981, 1982, 1983, 1984, 1985, James Silas a Euro 1975, 1976, Billy Ports a Euro 1976, Larry Kennan a Euro 1976, 1978, 1979, Artis Gilmore a Euro 1983, 1986, Alvin Robertson a Euro 1986, 1987, 1988, David Robinson a Euro 1990, 1991, 1992, 1993, 1994, 1995, 1996, 1998, 2000, 2001, Sean Elliott a Euro 1993. 1996, Tim Duncan a Euro 1998, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2013, Manu Gina Cubed Bill a Euro 2005, 2011 Tony Parker a Euro 2006, 2007, 2009, 2012, 2013, 2014, Greg Popovich a Euro 2005, 2011, 2013. Notable former players, for a complete list of current and former players, see the San Antonio Spurs players category. Head coaches. Won during the 1996 a Euro 97 season, Bob Hill coached 18 regular season games. Hill was fired on December 10, 1996, and Greg Popovich coached the remaining 64 regular season games too during the 1992 Euro 93 season, 
Jerry Tarkanian coached 20 regular season games. Tarkanian was fired on December 18, 1992. Rex Hughes then coached one regular season game, and John Lucas coached the remaining 61 regular season games as well as the playoffs three during the 1991 Euro 92 season. Larry Brown coached 38 regular season games. Brown was fired on January 21, 1992, and Bob Bass coached the remaining 44 regular season games as well as the playoffs four during the 1983 Euro 84 season. Morris McCunn coached 31 regular season games. McCunn was fired on December 28, 1983, and Bob Bass coached the remaining 51 regular season games five during the 1979 Euro 80 season. Doug Moe coached 66 regular season games. Moe was fired on March 1, 1980, and Bob Bass coached the remaining 16 regular season games as well as the playoffs. References All facts and records taken from the San Antonio Spurs history section. External links Official website, 538 Statistical Analysis of the Spurs Record